Hello and welcome back to the Cove with more Battletech. We're here for our final contract on planet and once again we are going to upset the Capellan Confederation. However the good news is they hate us so much, minus eight doesn't actually change any kind of standings whatsoever. However it does make us more friendly with the Federated Sons. So let's go ahead and pick up some salvage and see what we can do. So this is a four skull in a polar biome so let's go ahead and uh what do we want to do? Do we want to bring anything else? King Crab, Atlases... Now you know what, I think I had a little bit of confusion last time on this one, so how about we drop... Hmm, do we drop the other one? I don't know, what would we replace it with? We could go with a Highlander. That wouldn't be a bad idea. A couple of Ultra Auto Cannons? Yeah. You know what, I think that seems reasonable. Let's swap out the Atlas 2 for Highlander. Uh, we'll keep the other Atlas 2 with uh, distance weapons, LRMs, more King Crab, and then we will pilot the good old gun swinging Marauder. So I think that won't be too bad for today, and uh, hopefully we can uh, sort this out, make a little bit of money. Might sell off a few things if we can be bothered, and then we can go ahead and find where our next flashpoint is. Yeah, we do want to uh, definitely make sure that we are trying to improve relations where possible. Uh, at the moment, we're in uh, not the best of shape with a couple of people. So if we can increase our reputation with them while we're at a planet that we've already done a flashpoint for, when we do get to flashpoints with them, we should be paying... Well, we should get paid either more, or the people who will be upsetting won't be as upset, because we will be in good standing. Alright, so let's read our mission briefing. Retrieve the memory core and escape. Okay, fairly straightforward. A Capellan defector has given us an extremely interesting and time-sensitive piece of information, and we need a fast response. Before joining our side, this defector worked at a Capellan facility on this planet. She claims she was responsible for extracting data from a device that sounds, from her description, very much like a Star League-era memory core. We don't know what the data is, but Liao cannot be allowed to keep it. Okay, this is going to be the real thing. It's going to be defended like you can't even imagine. This one will be tough. Command interface initiated. Okay, so let's see where we are. Oh, uh, we have as described. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's see what firepower we're up against. Once we've got the memory, the leopard will meet us at the LZ. Okay. Perhaps later we can make some snow angels. Well, uh, I dare say, this is actually kind of uh, reminiscent of the last location we were fighting at. Yeah, in fact, uh, it feels awfully familiar. Moving out. What's the uh, probability of a... Uh, what? Do they terraform in Battletech? I feel like they may. Of course. Hmm. Either way, the probability of finding two places that have a very similar, uh, similar topographical terrain is uh, kind of... Uh, Kind of interesting when you think about the odds. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get everybody as far forwards as possible. Have no doubt, it will be done. I dare say on this next turn we will probably come into contact. Heading out. Hey, and just like we saw the previous time. All right, but what have we got this time? An 80-ton vehicle. Okay, so probably a demolisher. A 95-ton, maybe a uh, banshee or a cyclops, and then another 80-ton vehicle. Okay. So there's probably one more mech lying around somewhere. So uh, we will take it if possible. Let's go ahead and... You know what? That seems rather ideal. Let's go ahead and see. Actually, you know what? Let's just move up forwards on the, along the road. We'll figure it out on the next turn. Maybe, in fact, we could pick up some cover if we are lucky. Alright, so Rabbit can follow on up. Be there in a jet. Alrighty, oh, let us see what we're up against. So it seems, yep, a Banshee is right about here. Uh, that did miss us, thank you very much, that is appreciated. And now, let's see, what do we do next? I think it's going to be this one here. That looks like it's a, a second initiative, so... We could do something here, our Highlander... Oh yeah, you have jump jets. Um, puzzling... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get shots on that first vehicle, so I guess we're going to run the Marauder as... Oh, we're not going to get a chance to take it out, are we? Oh, that's rather annoying. 
And we can't pick up cover either. Okay, so that'll probably make it up to here. That'll go through. Let's go with the Highlander first. We're going to jump up to the top. Maybe we'll be a better target than the Marauder. We do have more armor, so that's probably to our benefit. And uh, we'll target the... Oh, do we go for the PPC carrier? Sure, that seems like a good thing to nuke before it gets a turn. Alright, so it looks like they're still kicking. That's kind of annoying. I've been sensor locked. Oh, and they are backing on up. Okay. Well then, um Do we really care about that? I think we can finish it off fairly easily. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and take out the Banshee, I dare say. Uh, we'll go all the way this way so we have access to all three targets with our indirect fire. But, uh, yeah, that won't be the priority. Oh, yeah, and they have another 80-ton vehicle in the back. Okay. So, let's see. I don't think they'll make it to us, so we should be safe for now. Let's just go ahead and precision strike the Banshee. We'll get rid of them. Yep. Okay, we definitely got rid of him. That is very nice. Enemy destroyed. And now... What have we got? Ah, yes. The uh, PPC carrier taking shots at the Leaving Highlander. I suppose it's only fair that they uh, go blow for blow. Alright, now this guy's sitting way at the back too, so we can't quite deal with him. How might I help? Uh, let's see. What do we want to target? I think we'll go... We'll move our Atlas all the way across. Yes. And we're going to send both the LRMs at this fellow and the rest against the other. I think that should be fairly close to uh, two kills, so... Fire. Oh wow, we missed those pretty terribly. Oh no, but we did still destroy it. Okay, so that was just the right amount. And there he goes, fantastic. One more for the trash heap. All right, so now we've only got one more vehicle and it looks like they have Maybe LB-10Xs would be my guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, wrap it. Let's go full sprint. We're going to get you as close as possible. Roger. Let's just go ahead and follow that road. Alright, so I'm not seeing too much hassle at this stage. So let's go ahead and roll on forwards. Yeah, Demolisher, LB-10Xs, fantastic. Let's go ahead and just uh, remove them. You know what? We can save the Gauss rifle ammo. I don't think we need it. Okay, maybe we did. Never mind. Well, we have someone else to follow up, so it's not going to be the end of the world. Now, let's go with our jump jets and get ourselves to a nice and comfortable position. A couple of auto cannons should be fine. Actually, oh my goodness. Oh no, never mind. I thought for a second the 384 armor was its uh, side. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's far more manageable. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll go with Precision Strike, I suppose. Just that way we're making sure we hit the weakest part. Uh, that'll do for now. Off we go. And it looks like I was a little foolhardy and we should have taken our shot. Yeah, well, luckily that wasn't too bad. Damage minimal. Yeah, damage minimal. No one else around. That'll be fine. Yes, Commander. Let's go and uh, we'll move the King order. Crab first. Just make sure that uh, if we do take it out, we can sufficiently move the other one fast yes, enough. Commander. And by some miracle, he's still kicking. Orders. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and finish him off. Affirmative. Our Atlas knows what it's doing and has plenty of firepower to spare. Exactly. Yep, there we go. Plenty of uh, shots back, on target bastard. there. And now we can uh, just kind of mosey on in Position for the uh, evac. Oh, well, e uh, get the uh, objective and then evac, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, that's the spot commander. Hold there while the memory core is loaded onto the friendly mech. And do we have reinforcements? The asset is in hand. Area has been cleared. Okay, Go well, in. that was. Um, that was rather sad, really. Three vehicles, one mech.
Huh. I was, uh, yeah, I was expecting a fair bit more. All right, well, either way, Federated Sons are happy. Capellans are still as sad as ever. Let's go ahead and we'll take all the Banshee. And then what do we care for? Accuracy seems significant. Small desert. Oh my, uh, leg mod. Um, hmm. I guess we'll pick that up since that's kind of rare to see. And then, I don't know, I guess that'll do. That's got to be the worst salvage we've had in quite a long time. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. Well, I guess you got to come across a new uh, situation here and there. I wasn't expecting just a single mech and uh, three vehicles. Not uh, that poorly defended anyway. Not even any turrets, which is uh, yeah, kind of peculiar for a four-skull mission. Yeah, who knows what's going on there. Maybe we beat them before reinforcements got deployed. That who knows? Alright, well, let's go ahead and chuck that into storage. That will do nicely. And I suppose since we're here... Oh, wait, we cannot sell anything, of course. We are in Capellan space. So, we have our Annihilator being worked on. I don't think that there is anything that we need to do to our mechs. Uh, if we just quickly check our components... Uh, most of these weapons seem fairly normal. Yeah, I'm not seeing any signs of things that we care about. Gauss rifles, no. Large lasers, they're all about the same. Um, hmm. LRMs, I don't, I think we've already upgraded them as much as possible. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're pretty good. Uh, we do have some medium lasers with extra damage. Oh, we have one, so maybe we chuck that on the, uh... Oh, and then one with, uh, less heat. Okay, so we have a couple of pulses. I suppose that will do. We can chuck them on a few of our mechs. But otherwise, I think that's going to pretty well be the end of things. So, let's go ahead and, uh, we'll do that. Let's go straight to our hunchback. We're going to refit the medium lasers from accuracy to damage because, uh, yeah, we should be fairly good in that department. So let's drop off one of them, and we will go for the extra damage. So let's go ahead and pick up... Where is it? 10 damage. And then, you know what? We'll drop one of you, and we'll go for the extra 5 damage. Not the best, but every little bit counts. Firepower is uh, quite substantial, 355. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. That should do nicely. And then from there, I think we'll go... I'll let you know when that's done. Yeah, let's go to the crab. Let's go ahead and refit that one. We have a couple of pulses that generate a little bit less heat. So that could be very nice for uh, a little bit more sniping. So let's drop off... Yeah, there we go. There's two of them. That should be exactly what we're after. So let's see. Uh, extra accuracy and minus four heat. Your minus two heat. So now we're running much cooler than what we were before. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, now a total of... What's that? 16 heat per alpha strike. That's... That's reasonable. Yeah, that's good. That's quite good, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Actually, ER small laser. Have we got any more of those? None that have any modifications. So I guess that'll have to do. Uh, we'll figure that out. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Now, uh, could we chuck the pulses onto the Black Knight? Huh. We have a few energy spots. You know what? Let's check out the Black Knight. I think we might be able to modify that. Um, if we have two more pulse lasers, we could possibly drop a large pulse. What is this? So that's six tons. Heat efficiency is perfectly fine. Um... No, you know what? I think we're going to keep that for now. We might... Yeah, we could possibly switch out some of those medium lasers. But I don't think we have the necessary amount of... Pulses to make up for it. No, we've only got three medium pulses, so... Actually, you know what? Maybe we could do a couple. Let's drop one of these. Let's drop one of those. Let's see how many we can switch out. One, two, and... Uh... That more than what we had before. We're still a couple of tons under. 
But then I guess we drop the meat medium lasers from the arm. No, no, and we're still under tonnage. Huh. Okay, so uh, if we're three tons of war, let's go ahead and reinstate one of them. And then what else could we do? Heat efficiency is a total of 18 per turn. We could possibly bring that down if we wanted. Now let's check out... Oh, wait a second. Uh, let's check out some machine guns. Maybe we add a couple of those on. Let's go... Oh, wait a second. We can go our free weight reduction one there, so that'll stay fine. And then that should probably be about it. Uh, two more tons. Let's go for... What do we want? Heat banks? Uh, heat sinks? That's what I'm saying. Sure, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll drop off the regular heat sink. No point in having that on board. We can do uh, far better than that. In fact, we can always use the doubles first. So that's what we'll do. And there we go. That is an exceptionally cool mech. Yeah, no heat whatsoever. Yeah, that'll do. Five days, extra machine guns are chucked on, a few more pulses, so that should be a bit more damage. I think that seems reasonable. Yeah. Heat efficiency's Log gone up. That'll be fine. Alright, so, fun. now that we've got that sorted out for our flight, let's check out our star map, and where do we wish to travel? So, here's where we are at the moment. There's a travel contract for a black market. Uh, what else do we have? That's 11 days... We have a flashpoint over here, 202 days. Uh, we still have that flashpoint campaign, and then we have, oh, 101 for Yang. Huh. Well, you know what? I th think what we'll do is, uh... We may as well go ahead and, uh... Oh, let's see, 11 days versus 34. You know what, we're going to check out the black market. We haven't been to this one before, so we're just going to go ahead and travel. We'll pay the cost ourselves. I'm not really too concerned. Uh, that'll at least give us access to a black market so we can sell off a bunch of our mechs. We might be able to pick up some new weapons. And uh, then I think we'll go and do a favor for Yang. It's a little out the way, but... Uh, I guess there's nothing wrong with that at the end of the day. As long as there is a payday at the end, that should be fine. So let's go ahead and uh, jump. Off we go. And I think that should be all we need. Yep, there we go. Detach, and let's see what's at the market. Alright, all the work is finished. That is nice. Let's keep on traveling. It's only one more day. There we go. And let's see what the black market has in store. Waypoint reached, Commander. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, black market, we have access to yeah, some decent ones. We've got another crab, but I think we're doing fine as far as heat sinks are concerned. I don't think that's going to buy us much of anything. Kind of happy with what we have. Uh, another Highlander. Again, they're cool, but we just don't really need them. Alright, auto cannon, medium laser with extra accuracy crit. We definitely don't need more of those. We have eight, uh, six in storage. Ooh, small pulse. Yeah, know what? We'll buy those. Two of those seems reasonable. New weapon systems available. I don't know what we're going to chuck them on, but we will do that somewhere. Uh, SRM4s, a fully upgraded one. I think we'll buy a, a uh, New backup. New systems available. And then Narc Beacon. I don't think we... I think we already have one. Yeah, we do, so that's not necessary. UAC-5 again. I don't know if we're going to really need that. We have two already. Now let's go with a comm system for the extra resolve. That is certainly good to have. And then uh, TTS for more ballistic. Ha. <laughs> um. Ha. Huh. Do we? You know what? We have one. We might want to chuck that in a different mech. We'll go ahead and see. And uh, leg mods is, uh, yeah, just unnecessary. Minus 30 DFA self damage is good. But uh, at the same time, too, I think I think we already have one. Yeah, we already have three. 
yeah, we're definitely not going to need that. So, with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and sell. We're going to go ahead and sell off a bunch of mechs. A little bit of extra cash never goes astray. Uh, we'll sell off the Atlas, sell off the Awesomes. We will, yeah, bye bye Banshee. Both different uh, variants. Battlemaster as well. Now uh, Commando. Cyclops, 2.6 million. Ooh. That is a nice chunk of change. Get rid of the Thunderbolt. And uh, I think we can... Oh no, we're going to keep that. That's our trophy. You know what? We can get rid of heat sinks. We're going to have a stack of these basic ones here. 410 of them. Let's just sell them all for 1.25 million. And we're already sitting at over... 20 million. Wow. Is there anything else we want to check out? Uh, how about some jump jets? Yeah, let's sell those off. And, uh, in fact, let's just sell them all. I don't think we really need them. We can always acquire more if necessary. And then, uh, we'll get rid of the basic flamers as well. There we go. Okay, so we've got a fair bit of cash on our hands. Uh, that should be pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that'll be about all for now. You know what? May as well finish off the last of these. Uh, just get rid of the basics so we can do this relatively fast. And, uh, yeah, there go the 20s. Yeah, so we've got stacks and stacks of cash. Uh, medium lasers, you know what? We'll get rid of the basic ones. Yep, there we go. Nothing but uh, the standard ones are... With nothing more than the modified one, sorry, we need oh, 40 PPCs. That'll be worth a bit. Thank you, kind of, and I think that'll do for now. We've got 23 million C bills. That's a very nice amount of cash. So now let's go ahead and uh I don't think that we really need to chuck anything in any more of our mechs. Welcome to the grease pit, Commander. We did get a little bit of um resolve gain if necessary, but we'll just quickly check uh SRM4 could throw one in a Centurion, or maybe... Uh, we'd be dropping damage on the Hunchback, which seems like a mistake. Could possibly go for the Crab. Uh, Shadowhawk has that. And what about Hatchet? Cockpit mod. You know what? It's not our heaviest armoured one, but we may as well go ahead and switch it out. If... Uh, if we're going to have some resolve, we may as well have a little bit. We're going all or nothing, so let's go ahead and uh, chuck that on in there. Extra four resolve gain is nice. Well, it'll take us a day, but I think it's worth it. Uh, we could also go ahead and chuck those uh, heat-reduced pulses on there too. That could be a nice addition in the future if we can find some more. Uh, but it looks like I have, uh, yeah, I have finished what we can here. So let's go ahead and see. Oh. You know what? Capellans up against the pirates. Uh, an uncommon weapon. Medium and consecutive. Ah. You know what? I think we're going to come back for that. We're going to go ahead and do this work for Yang. Roger yeah, that expires a little bit sooner. And uh, if it's consecutive deployments, we're probably going to do that in one episode instead of uh, fixing up a bunch of other stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, fly on by. We'll have another payday coming on through, which is, uh, you know, always fun to drop a good 800,000 sea bills on. Alright, so yeah, financial report in 11 days. We can handle that. And then we can uh, go ahead and see what Yang wants. Hopefully it's not too much and we can squeeze it in this episode. Otherwise, uh, it may need to be in the next one. Or uh, maybe we'll do a part and a half and half. We will have to see. All right, so I think that's about it. Oh, yep, there we go. Uh, still got 22 days of travel left. All right, so two birds. Okay. As the daily briefing winds down, Darius pauses. Last item on the agenda. Capellan officials have sent us an inquiry. They somehow know about our involvement in the assassination of the Curitan defector. Yoshito Okada. The message suggests that they'd be willing to forget our involvement, even pay us if we offer up some information on our accomplices. Oh man, Yang grins. 
It's, uh, this is our two birds with one LRM situation. Let's tell them about our charming friends, Gaku Hironaka. And Dr. Maraud arches an eyebrow. That isn't an expression, Yang, but admittedly, I'm inclined to, to agree. If we gave up Yamaguchi, we'd never work again, but a sub-commander, that's another story. Ah. Um... Ah. So that might help us out with our Helens. Uh... The Curitan Defector, we might possibly get in trouble... I think we're doing all right with their situation, so I guess we go ahead and we'll order Darius. Uh, hang on a second, what do we want to do? Okay, so we could tell him to say, tell nothing to the Kapowans. We could order him to comply if we could. Um, yeah, how about we just tell Darius to give up Gaku Hironaka's name? I suppose that's not the worst, and he was a jerk. Yeah, he was an absolute punk, so yes. Nothing nothing uh, personal, just business, I'm certain. Alright, you shrug, might regret this, but Yang's right. To hell with Gaku Hironaka. Hours after the EXO sends a response to the Liao officials, he calls the command staff back to the command center. Good news, the Kapalans were highly interested in our mutual pain in the butt. They'll follow up with Hironaka and leave us alone. We even earned a hundred thousand sea bills for our trouble. Yang whistles. See? What did I tell you? Now that's three birds, one political explosion, Dr. Murad interrupts. Colloquialisms aside, I would say that this is just a sort of small victory we needed. Sometimes the bad guys do pay. Days later you see receive an HPG message in your private quarters. You read through the formal language quickly and suss out the point. Combine can't pin you down for a role in the disappearance of Hironaka, but their intelligence indicates that your outfit must be involved. This is a warning. Okay, so two reputation with the Traconas Combine. We gain we gain one reputation with the Capellans. Well, you know what? At least we got a little bit of money. We probably didn't need it. Uh but honestly, that guy was a jerk. He was an absolute jerk, so I don't mind throwing him under the bus for a fair bit of cash. At the end of the day, as uh, mercenaries, we get paid for doing things, and uh, it turns out you probably don't want to make us your worst enemy. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. We'll land uh, oh, in a couple of days. We'll just pay our money. Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and get that done. And, uh, yeah, okay, just another two weeks of space travel. Good grief, I could only imagine what this would be like in real life. You, uh, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not against going for, like, long road trip trips and whatnot. But, uh, to spend several, several weeks in space, like, mind you, it's probably, it's obviously what the sailors used to have to deal with, crossing the, uh, continents. And, uh, but that seems more appetizing than this. Space is just sort of uh, empty, whereas at least the ocean, there's waves, you can see there's atmosphere, there's animals, all sorts of stuff that makes it better. Alright, so, bonus, rare mech, I think that seems pretty good. Hey boss, I've got a line on a really juicy opportunity out on Electra, but I need to check in, check out in person for sure. I think you could authorize taking a detour. Yes. We're going to go ahead and begin, and uh, we'll see what the story presents. Alright, Yang Vertanen's big score. Alright, Yang, we're orbiting Electra, so let's hear it. What is this juicy opportunity you've got lined up for us? A great, big, glittery showroom full of limited production battle packs. We're talking mint condition museum pieces. The private collection of one of House Davian's preeminent collectors. We play our cards right, and they're ours for the taking. In short, XO, what I've got lined up for us is a good old-fashioned heist. Okay, this collector must have a name. It must be nice to know who we're planning to rob. Mitchell Graves. He's an ex-corporate, made a mint working as the interim CEO of Lincoln Davian Intro Tech. Then more, then more than quadrupled his money by manipulating the aerospace market. Long story short, the guy's a white collar criminal. He's filthy rich, but otherwise unremarkable, and he collects battle mechs. 
but I'll be damned if he knows how to pilot one. Sounds like the kind of guy I'd have no problem stealing from, so how do you propose we do it? Well, first off, we'd need to get our mech warriors to the showroom somehow. We can't just blast our way in without damaging the merchandise, so our frontal assault is out. If we want to get those mechs out of the showroom in one piece, we're going to have to trick Graves into dropping his guard, and as it happens, I've got a plan for that. Alright, then we're listening. Graves has a rival, a guy named Wallo. He's another rich guy with military hardware with a military hardware fetish, and a couple of months ago, he outbid our guy on some vintage mech parts. Graves needs those components for an old griffin he's restoring, but Wallo won't sell. With me so far? Because I hope we're coming up to the good part. Okay, so just last month, Wallo leased an old aircraft hangar on the edge of Cors Cortica City. He's planning on using it to facilitate another deal. Some sort of aerospace acquisition, I think, and he's brought his griffin components with him, presumably for the purpose of pissing Graves off. Now, he's... Here's where the plan gets clever. If we were to capture Wallow's hangar and then leave it defenseless, Graves would go for it. He'd send his own security detail to steal Wallow's griffin bits, and would that would give our people the opportunity they'd need to slip in on foot and infiltrate Graves' showroom. And then our mech warriors would abscond with their pick of Graves' battle mechs? It's a fine plan, but what happens if the mechs are secured in some way? No offense to our valiant pilots, but if getting those museum pieces up and running is more complicated than pressing the on button, I'm not sure they'll be up to the task. Fair point. Alright, you're right, they won't, and that's why I'll be going with them. Feet on the ground like I did in my army days. I'll get the mechs running and hitch a ride back out with one of our pilots. Won't be my first date with a rumple seat. Alright then, sounds like a plan, Yang. I'll assemble a lance to wipe out Wallow's bodyguards. Alright. Damn glad you got with me on this one, boss. I'd give you the mother of all high fives if I didn't think it would break you. Let's get to work, everybody. This is gonna be great. Yeah, well, I guess that is uh, kind of a concern when the guy's got a prosthetic arm now, don't you? If it's uh, that heavily uh, mechanized, I could see that being more than just a little problem. Alright, so with that sorted, I think we're going to go ahead and see if we can uh, do this. So, Yang's big score, it's a uh, two and a half, it's in the desert, it's a capture base. I think we can do that fairly easily. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and start. I think we can do this one relatively fast. So let's go ahead and begin. We'll pick up, uh, you know what, we'll bring Headhunter back out. We'll bring Spymaster Arez or well, we'll throw him on the King Crab. And I think we'll go drop the Highlander and bring out What do we want? Maybe oh maybe we do just bring the uh oh, you know we'll go the Annihilator. Ultra Auto Cannons seems good, and in fact we probably have enough resolve sorry, not resolve, experience. So let's quickly check Ranger. And uh, see that she has promoted. Yeah, let's go. Actually, never mind. I think we're going to save it for the recoil penalty. Yeah, I think that's going to be our best bet. Okay, so never mind. Go back to our contract and we'll uh, pay that. Let's go uh, Annihilator. There we go. We will bring out R Rannick. And we'll bring out Spymaster. I think that should be good. Alright, let's go ahead and drop. Plenty of distance, plenty of precision, plenty of firepower all in all. So I think we should be good. Now there probably was a decent argument for maybe the uh, Highlander. Just because we do have the jump jets and we can move around a bit quicker. But uh, at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to be a massive uh, problem trying to capture a base. So let's go ahead and uh, see exactly what Yang has in for store. Alright. Also too, uh, if you are watching this far, I'm sure you're enjoying the series. So hopefully, uh, if you would like the opportunity, you would uh, pounce upon it to join Lovathan's Marauders. If you have a first and a last name as well as a call sign, leave it in the comments below or on the community post. And I will be sure to hire you so we can, uh, we can have you join the crew. We would love to have you. Alright, so, 
For Yang's heist, let's go ahead and read our debrief. Capture the hangar and eliminate Wallow's security detail. Nice and simple. Wallow's got a mercenary company on retainer to protect his private aerospace hangar, the imaginatively named Security Solutions Incorporated. I've looked them up and they s they're the real deal, but uh, they've got combat vehicles, battle mechs, the works, but we'll have the element of surprise on our side. So given that Wallow's never heard of us, that is something, right? Alright, let's hope this all pans out the way Yang says Command it would. Alright, hangar is just ahead, picking up a lot of battle mech activity out front. Unknown battle mech lands, be advised that you're trespassing on protected territory. Turn back now, or you will be destroyed. Oh, so much for the element of surprise. Let's do what we came here for, Edmund. Take him out and capture that hangar. Thank you okay. very much. Let's do this. Alright, so it looks like we've got a fairly clear uh, path, so uh, let's just get going. Now let's bring Angel close, let's go... I think that should be fine for the Annihilator, let's bring the... Yeah, I don't think we can squeeze down there, so let's bring the Marauder down here. Heading out. And then uh, the King Crab, let's see, you know what, that'll get us out of the forest fast enough. Confirmed. That should be fine. Alright, Atlas 2, actually. Orders. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. We'll go with the Atlas 2 first. I'm sure we're about to get sensor contact. Uh, let's move Ranger. We can get the Marauder out front. And the Crab. Alright. Still no sign. Okay, well that's peculiar. Could be worse though. Alright, what's this? I've got eyes on the hangar commander, and what's more, far has gone, gotten me access to Wallow's internal security cameras. They weren't even encrypted. For a security company, these SSI people aren't very good. We can say that again, I'm taking a look at inside. Wallow's got something big in there, but I can't quite make it out. Oh. Oh? Huh? Whoa. Don't let me in suspense, Maya. What are you looking at in there? Thing of Beauty XO, he's got about 80% of a Galileo instrument Ach Achilles up on the blocks there it's an absolute monster of a dropship more than twice as big as our weapon and it's armed like a warship to boot well then we should be relieved that it's up on blocks let's get this show back on the road commander the sooner we wipe out Wallow's guards the sooner we can move on Graves's showroom ah uh it's not going to be able to power up and do work as a turret, is it? Because if that does, we could be in trouble. Um, still no sign of any sensor contact, so I guess we'll go, we'll bring Got the it. Atlas off to the side, we'll bring the Annihilator to the other angle. We'll get the Marauder nice and close, Confirmed. and uh, King Crab can just kind of chill in the middle. I'm rather curious. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, pick up some cover. In fact, uh... Yeah, we'll go ahead and move down there. You know what? I feel like the King Crab might need to be down this side, so let's go ahead and do that. And then, uh, let's go... Let's just stand within so we can get out of there quickly if necessary. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Alright, so it looks like they are mostly coming Time left. Alright. Uh, some weird little mercenary fellows. They have a 70 ton vehicle and a 50 ton mech. Not exactly what would order. be uh, super effective, but I guess we can uh, see. Let's go ahead and reserve. Uh, looks like they've brought in a 55 ton mech as well. Uh, Ranger. Yes, Commander. I don't think we're going to get shots on target just about yet. If we go ahead and move here, we could bust open the wall so we can fight. We're not really trying to protect anything. Yeah, but that would open up a line of sight for Rannick. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of remodeling to this place. Hey there, uh, the wall's got 150. We can probably drop a little bit of ammo. Uh, not a little bit of ammo, a little bit of uh, damage. We'll go ahead and use our cheap one, and yeah, so that should be 80, that'll be 140, that's, oh, no, there we go. Make sure we get it this time, we're not going to miss fire. 
Okay, there we go. There goes the wall. Target site demolished. Maybe just maybe we've opened up a line of sight. That would be uh ready to get it on. Ah, darn it, we still don't have room. Okay, um What's up, boss? Spy Master, what about you, buddy? Uh you can sense a lock, so I suppose we go ahead and do that. Or do we go ahead and sprint and pick up a little bit of cover? You know what? I think we move and take the cover. Yeah, we should be able to see them next turn anyway. Um, and I'd rather have the evasion and cover than the ex... You know what? We're going to reserve. Roger that. Standing by. No, that rat bag. Okay, fine. We're going to have to do what we have to do. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Yeah, we're going to have to go nice and close. Let's just move fully forwards. Confirmed. We know what we're dealing with, so uh, we may as well. Uh, what do we got here? SE-10, LRM-10, SRMs and machine guns. Yeah. A Shadowhawk and a Centurion. Huh. And then uh, some guy at the back. Okay. Let's go with a multi-target. We're going to fire primarily upon the Centurion, I think. But we'll pop a shot on the other two, just so we can get ourselves a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of evasion uh, reduction. In fact, uh, let's go for the Shadowhawk instead. Yeah, we'll send uh, the large laser on the Shadowhawk. You know what? Forget about C. A and B, that's all we care about for now. Alright, so that Centurion's pretty beat up. And that Shadowhawk has taken uh, a little bit of damage. Good to go. Alright, Rannick, if we go here... Oh, perfect. Busting down that... Ah, oh, darn it, it's the guy at the back. Scumbags. Um, Waiting for orders. We're not going to be able to... Fine, we're going to sprint. Um, at least we're not running the whole way around. That would be far less advantageous. At least this way. Double time. Let's go. We'll have a fair bit of evasion. Mech warriors. All right. Show them what you got. So, first little vehicle. Taking shots on an atlas. That's not going to uh, be too effective, I dare say. Now it's our turn, so Rannick, Standing by. who do you wish to take out? In fact, uh, you know what? We can even get some cover here. Hey, you know what? That's rather clever of us. We totally planned on doing that. Uh, we'll pick up the cover. We'll take uh, full shots on the Shadowhawk. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do rather nicely. Let's go for the headshot. There we go. Very, very That's a kill. clear cut. Alright, enemy turn. Centurion, what you got? Well, our damage reduction is pretty jolly good, so not really too concerned there. And then... Looks like that guy's way out back. Let's see if... Uh, uh, Ranger's not going to have the right kind of space. Okay, fine. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll just sprint down the road. We'll uh, prepare for the next Good bout. At least we opened up that space for Rannick, so you know, the previous turn was still worth a fair bit, even if this one's not as effective. Receiving you. Alright, let's bring our King Crab forwards. We're going to go ahead and uh, we'll go for a precision strike. Good chance to get a kill. There's also a good chance that we just blow it up, so... Alright, well, we were going for salvage, but I guess it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, let's bring Angel. Hey there, you. Moving to position. Uh, I don't think I like your vehicle very much. Let's say goodbye to you. Locking in all weapons. Go time. That'll do so quite nicely. Reporting vehicle destroyed. And then... Yeah, we'll reserve with Rannick. We'll see what Whatever. this guy plans on doing. He's kind of trying to go forwards. Got something you want done? Uh, you know what? Let's just move forwards and we'll sense a lock. We can finish him off with uh, LRMs, I am sure. And if that means uh, we get that sorted before any reinforcements arrive, all the better. All right. So there That's you go. Enemy reinforcements. There should still be someone in the area. Uh, 
Ranger, let's go ahead and just get you to uh, regroup. The others I'm not as worried about. Let's go Spy Master. Let's go back into cover. Position confirmed. No need to really uh, worry about things. We'll just fire our LRMs. Locking on pod. There we go, fairly sizable damage. And then we can do Order. the same with uh, Angel. In fact, uh, if, you know what, we'll work, we'll work our way closer, just in case. Just in case we don't get him, we'll uh, take the damage. Alright, never mind. Weapon inbound, Commander. I'll be touching down directly. Well, that was nice and effective. Is uh, that all? Uh, the hangar is defenseless and it looks like Graves is taking the bait. Long range sensors are picking up activity out of, uh, out by his showroom. Okay, well that's my cue then. I'll get a lance of mech warriors together and infiltrate the showroom. Uh, James Aristius Wallow. I don't understand you people. You've captured my aerospace hangar and now you're what? Running away? Looks that way. Word to the wise, Graves' security team will be coming along any second now. If you don't want them tearing that hangar down around you, I'd recommend moving your Griffin components out to the front yard. I'd also recommend that you password protect your security cameras, because your security team doesn't have the finest, faintest idea what it is doing. I appreciate the warning, miss. Call me Sam. And I noticed that you nearly completed Achilles in there. I'm a thief, not a monster. I don't want to see a marvel like that get destroyed. But that's very kind of you, Sam. Hell, it's downright cordial. I'll try to keep this little exchange in mind the next time we meet, because there will be a next time, Sam. And when it comes, I'll be the one holding the cards. Mission okay. Successful. Well, uh... It looks like uh, we've maybe set ourselves up for a nice little bit of a nemesis. Well, at least as far as uh, Samaya is concerned. It's not every day that you uh, get to come across a crazy rich fellow who uh, takes an interest in uh, the future with you. Alright, so Yang is happy, I suppose. They're unhappy, I guess. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the XP. That's always nice to have. We'll go ahead and pick up... Uh, what is it? Yeah, Shadowhawk. That'll do. We'll pick up you. The rest is... A little bit meh. We'll get the uh, Centurion. Yeah, nah, nothing else of worth. Fairly minimal value in the salvage right there. But it's still going to be fun as far as the story is concerned. But I don't know how long this next mission will go for. So you know what? I'm thinking we might go ahead and uh, see what the debriefing is. We'll talk through things and then we'll see what the next mission provides because I'm certain that that's going to uh, play into the effect of uh, whether we play it today or whether we play it tomorrow. Alright, so the Shadowhawk is an interesting one, blah 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 blah, yeah sure, fine. We'll go ahead and send that to storage, and uh, Yang Vatanen's big store score number two. Alright, the Eagle has landed boss, we're in the showroom surrounded by a whole bunch of really pretty battle maps. Real talk, these beauties are as polished as a bodybuilder's biceps. But if you told me that Graves spent 10 hours a day rubbing baby oil on them, I'd believe it. <laughs> okay, charming. Now just calling it like I see it, Doc. These babies are slick. Interesting variety of chassis too. I can't wait to see what components they're packing. I just wish there was some way we could take the entire collection home with us, you know? It feels almost negligent, condemning such a beautiful machine to languish in a moist, glistening captivity. Uh, there's a phrase I never need to hear again. Look, Yang, can you get those battle mechs running or not? Well, I've got it, XO. There are some fluids I'll need to pump and a few locks to disengage, but the battle mechs themselves are in the are in showroom condition. It shouldn't take a, shouldn't take long to get them going, is what I'm saying. I just need a decision about which four mechs to bring online. Ooh. Okay, uh, what are our options? Well, the way I see it, there are two options we can take here. We can swipe a lighter lance and try and swip away clean, or we can take a bunch of bruises and blast our way out. There isn't much sense in taking a mixed lance, because at the end of the day, we're only going to be as fast as our slowest mech. Ooh. So, uh, boss, do we take the hot rods or the monster trucks? 
Obviously, your average heavy mech is a lot more valuable than a light is, but these particular light mechs are pretty rare. So there's a Vindicator variant here, the Avenging Angel that I've never seen before. Huh. Um, more powerful engine, additional jump jets, giving it increased... That's a tough one. Um... Oh man, I kind of want to try out whatever that fancy one is. Uh, but these light mechs are pretty rare. There's a Vindicator. Um, I'm really keen to see that because that dates to the end of the Second Succession War. Uh, with only half the armor of a stock one. Ooh, more powerful. Okay, so it's a lot lighter and a lot more uh, prone to blowing up. You know what? We're going to go for the Heavy Lands. Um... Yeah, we'll go for... I have confidence in our Mac Warriors can fight whatever he throws at us. Let's grab the uh, big fellows, I think. Yeah, it's worth more money in the end. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Alright, on a boss, the monsters it is. Elmire, to be ready, we're going to need pickup as soon as we hit the LZ. The moment Graves realises what we've done, his security team is going to be hot on our trail. And for now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lance of absolutely beautiful fighting machines to liberate. Commander, this the Lance is going to need your help to get out of here, so I'll be in touch with you soon via comlink. With any luck, we'll catch the rest of you shortly thereafter. Till then, take care of yourselves. Yang out. Okay, so it looks like we're getting ready for a fight. This may take a little bit of time, so I think we will call it and uh, come back with Yang's big score number two in the next one. If you do want to see that episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.